Hello there, my very good friends. On today's wrestling news, we're going to tell you why AJ Styles isn't on TV at the moment. Where the hell was Drew McIntyre on last night's Raw? I'll tell you. The value of AEW's TV deal has been revealed. And uh-oh, it's not looking good for NXT on the road. I'm Adam Wilborn. I'm Andrew H. Murray. <laughs> this is the news. All right, you sons of gnomes. Let's kick this one off by talking about AJ Styles. Where the heck... I never know which way to do it. I am not sure. It's AJ. I don't know. Hood. Do the hood one. Oh, that's that's the motor saying machine guns there. Doing their little, little doing their, their their gimmick with the finger <laughs> and the hand. Uh, right. What what's going on? What's going on with AJ Styles? He hasn't been on TV in ages. He hasn't wrestled on WWE programming since uh, Clash at the Castle, 15th of June. What? He has been on house shows in Europe and and Japan, but not in the US, which is weird. Um, in fact, his last match of any kind to make tape uh, was for Pro Wrestling Noah when he wrestled, uh, wrestled Naomichi Marufuji. Uh, that was on the 13th of July. It's a weird thing. A lot of people have been asking him, where's AJ? What's he not on TV? He's good. The Cody feud was really yeah. great. And he's like huge now. I think he's going to come back even bigger after all of this, <laughs> which is the, the great thing about it. But according to Fightful, um, he's not injured or anything like that. He's healthy. He just isn't being used uh, on WWE TV at the moment. Um, he had wrestled Cody Rhodes five consecutive times on that yeah. European tour. Um, so there you go. That's it. He's not injured for anyone who's been wondering about that. He just isn't being used on TV by the company. So, I mean, I think it's a pretty healthy thing to do, right? Yeah. If you, you sometimes uh, cycle people out for a little bit, that way when they come back, it feels fresh, keeps it interesting. They're not getting over uh, saturated. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think that's the phrase I'm looking for. Yeah. You don't get sick of them. I think it's a good thing to do. And I mean, I would say, oh, it's more time at home for his family, but he's been in Japan and Europe. So, <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe not so much on that end. Longer holidays. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but, yeah, the relief is he's not injured, like you say, especially at his age, uh, any sort of absences get more and more concerning uh, but yeah I completely agree with you on this one I like I love his feuds with uh, Cody Rhodes and like you say then he went to Japan and what have you uh, but there was no real need to rush him back to TV I used to hate that back in the day where it's like challenge for the title lose rematch challenge for the title lose yeah. turn up on the next week's TV but you lost yeah. go yeah. away for a bit I think yeah long term he could be a really good opponent uh, on a big show for someone like L.A. Nye yeah and saying oh I want to win your US title actually but you don't need to do that right now and it's not like they're struggling on television for stuff to do. They were cutting matches short, as we reported yesterday, on their debut on USA because of all the Cody Roman bloodline stuff. Uh, you've got people queuing around the block to face LA Knight, specifically right now Andrade and Mello. Well, Andrade specifically, but Mello's obviously going to cost him that. And then yeah. presumably they're going to do some sort of triple threat down the road. So, yeah, if you've gotten out for him to do or you think we'd just be putting him out there to have a kind of 50-50 match... Have him have a break for a bit. You know what? I've figured it out. I've figured it out, right? Okay. AJ Styles, you think about his past few months. He's been to Scotland. He's been to France. He's been to Germany. Other places in Europe as well. He's been to Japan. He's been all around the world looking for the curve. That's, that's what he's trying to do, baby. This guy's magnifying. You heard it here first. The official report. I, I heard it from Louis Scoops. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey. <laughs> What was the quote? And they got some ideas. Interesting. Thing. What was the uh, what was the Earth doing before? That's yeah. what I want to know. <laughs> well, also, why is it blue? He's ran into a bit of a problem with this quest though, because he's actually hit the ice wall now. So he's trying to get out of that. He's God damn glass dome. Yeah, the, the blooming wildlings are on the other side. It's crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, right, let's talk a little bit about Drew McIntyre. Nothing it, from him. Westeros flat. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but let's talk about Drew McIntyre. He uh, made no appearance on last night's Raw after CM Punk got a scathing, I really like Punk's promo to open the show last night. Um, but yeah, no appearance from Drew McIntyre. He is set to return uh, next week on Raw to respond and build, of course, the Hell in a Cell match at Bad Blood at the start of October. If you were concerned, though, with regards to why Drew McIntyre wasn't there, PW Insider reassuring everybody by saying this week it was a creative decision uh, to not have him not on being on the show, not due to anything else because anytime you're talking about a few of CM Punk you think uh oh did they actually get uh, shoot real <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes <laughs> have they had a fight uh, who's knocked who out who is using real glass crime Indeed. river uh, yeah fair enough I, I like I wasn't 
when Drew was on the show, it's not like I was like, oh my god, alarm bells or anything like that, because I figured that if some chaos had happened, that they would have probably not used Punk either. Yes. Um, but, and they've but, done a lot of like pull apart brawls or sneak attacks between the two men yeah. in, in the you know entire length of this feud. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I thought it was a good intense week uh, for Punk on the microphone. It's kind of the Punk. Uh, that I like the most yeah. is when he gets really locked into a bitter personal just rivalry. Just so whispering, wasn't he? Yeah, he's chilling, chilling man. I said they should do the thing. You remember uh, Triple H Stone Cold where they signed that contract? It was like, you can't touch each other. Yes. If, you, if you do it, you're like suspended for you're six fired. months. If you lose it, if you do it, you're like out of WrestleMania or whatever. Uh, and they should have done it. And then uh, Punk should have done the whole Triple H. I'm not getting suspended because I never signed yeah. it. Tax Drew, then signs it. And then Drew Claymore's uh, Larry. <laughs> just, just an idea. <laughs> well, I was gonna say they could have gotten around that by ha Punk could have gotten around that by just having Larry attack Drew. But, oh yeah. But if Drew is going Sick to him, boy. if Drew's going to claymore a dog, like uh, Larry would a really low claymore. Yeah, that, Larry's not exactly got a great say, ground clear. Larry would have to be up here, so Larry would have to be hitting a frog splash, a dog splash, or something like that, <laughs> carrying him on a throne. Perfect. Poor Larry. Larry is the only innocent party in any of these shenanigans. Yeah. I don't care if it's AEW. I don't care if it's the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. I don't care if it's Jack Perry. I don't care if it's Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins. If there's been CM Punk drama, Larry is totally innocent. And because yeah, I want to send all of our love from here, from what culture here to Larry, and stay safe out there. Because from what I've heard, they're eating the dogs. <laughs> Ace Steel is a dog who eats humans. So, <laughs> so hey, look, allegedly, allegedly, we all saw the bite mark on Kenny Omega's arm, but allegedly. God, this is a spicy video, yeah. today, isn't it? This is going to piss let's, people let's off. Let's hey, hey, Andy, let's calm everyone down and talk about something that no one argues about. What's oh, yeah. your next story? Uh, AW TV deal. Nobody gets upset by numbers, do they? No. Nobody ever. Nobody ever gets wound up by an objective three-digit figure with an N at the end that sits sits on your screen. But uh, this is. Uh, Hey, look, it's another AEW TV report without the TV deal being announced. Not that I think it isn't here, it's just like, it's become a bit of a meme, hasn't it? Hey, all... What is it, 90% done? Na what is it? It's 100% real, 90% chance to get, I love that, sex pamper. 60% of the time works every time. <laughs> yes, um, but look, it's it's blatantly coming soon. It's just fun to, to, to take the piss it's a little bit. It's not like we're, we're gonna know. Tony's yeah. gonna give the biggest announcement you've ever seen. His voice is gonna like, when to, it's straight, I, interesting thing I think with Tony Khan is that when he talks, when he's really excited about stuff, a lot of people go higher, he goes much lower. Yeah. It's awesome. He's gonna, he's gonna, I'm not doing my impression. He's what? gonna speak like Blooming Big Show or something when he announces it. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> oh gosh. It's gonna be a great show. Okay, okay that's enough of poor Tony. <laughs> hey, What's look. the latest anyway? Let's do yeah, it. so the, <laughs> this report is from uh, Josh Urant at uh, Puck. Puck! Ooh. Who reports that the media deal looks like it's going to be a four year deal. That is a three year guarantee with a one year option. And he says, Josh Urant, John Urant, uh, about $170 million per year. Nice. Which is a significant uptake on the current rate. When it was dynamite alone, it was about $44 million. And per reports, it went up to something in the 70s or thereabouts when Collision came along and they've had various other renegotiations and stuff. Um, so that's more than double, if that's mm, the ballpark. I was kind of hoping for 171 million, if I'm honest. So yeah, failure in my eyes. Why isn't it a billion a year? <laughs> the goalposts just change immediately, yeah. don't they? But uh, according to this report, AEW's going to air on TNT, TBS and True TV twice a week. Is this is staying on the days that they used to? Or? No word, no word. Please God, don't change it. Uh, this is part of a strategy to make True TV TV a bit more sport oriented. Mm. Now this deal, uh, apparently the announcement could come as early as next week, uh, barring any last minute changes. So you might get Tony Khan has a huge announcement popping up on Twitter sometime soon. Um, apparently AEW is still pitching to additional uh, networks as well, which uh, is in, pardon me, which is in line with recent reports suggesting they've been talking to Fox about a potential FS1 show. Uh, Shockwave. Yeah, killer. Crocodiles. I don't, I don't know. Why is there crocodiles involved, Tony Khan? <laughs> Silly sausage. Uh, look, the my take on this is the, is the same. Uh, it's going to make... AEW's five-year plan was always for it to become profitable in 2024. That was always Tony Khan's goal. Uh, the TV deal will more than push it into that. 
But if you're an AEW fan and you're pissed off with all these stupid accounts going, it's going out of business, there's no TV deal. Uh, well, you're, you're just in for a rough time because it just changed the goalposts. Yes. Like, like we take the piss out of every day. It'll become, why is it not 500 million or whatever, <laughs> whatever. You just have to stop listening to these people because they are unserious. The company's totally fine. And here's my take on it all. I don't care. Uh, make Truth Truth Magnum true TV world, uh, world champion, please. You son of a bitch, Turbo Flight. What Tell a dope. Ah, oh, oh, that was. That, you know, that really hurt. <laughs> yeah, that was that was piss. <laughs> right, I love the outrunners. From AEW to NXT, though, and some worrying developments with regards to their uh, TV tour. Obviously, they're going on the road. They're going to the C Dub. Uh, they're heading to Chicago. CM Punk's going to be on the show. He's going to be on the show tonight, actually. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, he's also going to be on the big, yeah, first show on the CW on the 1st of October. Then October 8th, they're heading to St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, unfortunately, they've had to change venues uh, from a 17,000-seat uh, venue to a 3,000-seat uh, venue. But the good news, it's in the best place in the world, Chesterfield. Not my Chesterfield, <laughs> Chesterfield, Missouri. But, yeah, it's, it's changed due to poor ticket sales, which is rather surprising um, because they've hyped up a lot of big stuff on that show or you can sort of infer it from what they've built up already for the October 1st show Randy Orton's going to be on that show more importantly um, disappointing this for NXT yeah at the same time I think that if you're only going to have like 3,000 people there well it's better to just have a 3,000 seater yes. building than a 7 because then it looks cavernous and empty um, one of my criticisms of AEW is that on weeks where it sells uh, like three, 4,000 tickets uh, whatever uh Downsize the venue, it'll sound better, it'll look better, in my opinion. Maybe you disagree. Um, look, whatever. 17,000 was a big swing. It was a big swing. Randy Orton in his hometown, uh, and WWE just draws. It just draws yeah. these days. Um, however, uh, I think that when stuff like this happens to NXT, when something negative like this happens to NXT, you always get an army of little defenders going, oh, it's only developmental, it's only the third brand, blah, 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 blah. But then, uh, you know, the. the you hear the opposite when it's doing well. It's like, ha ha ha! Look at this. It's a. It's not just developmental. Third brand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Look, Randy Orton's on this show. It's not exactly just a, a bunch of people no one's ever heard of. Um. So. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a black eye business wise, but it ultimately won't matter because. Uh, it, it, WWE is as profitable yeah, as they themselves have got a, bit of a big, big TV deal with the CW, obviously. Yeah, so. they've got, they've, yeah CW Anderson. Although I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, why? You, CW Anderson's a good wrestler, but he doesn't have a TV network. Why are no. you giving him the show? And I'm not surprised because NXT is the best wrestling show of the week. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> if you don't like it, hey, wrestling's subjective, guys. Enjoy, like what you like. Yeah. Hey, and you can like two wrestling shows specifically. Yeah, only two. Mm. That's the only two you're allowed to watch. But the, uh, only thing you, the only thing you're allowed to watch after this news video is Andy. this video, which might be a news. It's the algorithm has decided what's best Who knows? so blame, blame robots bye <laughs>